You're going to begin your dragon eye with a long U shape, kind of like a hill. And then the lower part of the eye is a little bit flatter. So the top has a nice round curve to it and the bottom is less curved. Then in the center of the eye, we're going to draw the colored part of the eye, which is called the iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye. You can color in the whole eye if you'd like, or you can put a circle in the center. Notice that that circle touches the top and bottom of the eye. It's not like a circle just in the middle. Then we're going to take a base color and I'm using the side of my oil pastel and you're going to color in that whole area. We're actually going to be building up different layers using the oil pastels. Now I'm taking different colors and I'm using radial lines. No, notice how I'm going from the outside towards the center in a circle. This creates little striations. If you look really closely in the human eye or someone's eye, there's little flecks of color. You may remember seeing them in some of the dragon examples. So I'm taking different colors and blending them. I like to use lots of different colors. So I'm using pinks and yellows, things that are close to that original color of orange. I wanna blend colors on top. I may take my base color again and blend it in. So again, working different colors in around in a circle. Then I'm gonna take a shadow color. I'm using purple here and I'm going to color around the eye and kind of shade it in just a little bit. I'm gonna take a highlight and color inside the eye. So I'm taking a bright yellow. You can use white or any light colors. And again, I'm using radial lines out from the center towards the outer part of the eye to create those flecks of different colors. Next, I'm gonna take black and I'm going to make a pupil right on top of all of those colors. You're gonna to have to press hard. You can make your pupil any color that you want. The black part of the eye is what lets the light in. So it can be big or it can be small. It can be um, like a thin line and look reptilian. Next, I'm gonna be taking a white and I'm gonna create a bright highlight, a reflective highlight because the human eye is reflective and it usually reflects whatever the shape of the light source is. So here I'm going to press very hard and make a circular white shape. Sometimes people forget this step but it's really important. It really makes it look lively. You can put it over the pupil or just the colored part of the eye but you want a nice bright highlight. Then I'm going to take that same white and again you can use any color that you like. I'm going to take white and color in around the iris of the eye, filling it in, but this is not the last step. A lot of people forget this very last step, but it's very important because it helps create the look that the eye is set into the eyelid. Right now, it's just a flat white color. I want to take a shadow color, like a black or blue or purple, and color in all along the eye. We want to make it look like the eye is inset into the eyelid, which is overlapping the eye. So you wanna take black and you can fade it in with your finger if you need to, or smudge it again with a white pastel. We wanna make it look like there's a shadow that's cast all on the eye. So there I am blending it with the white. And periodically when you're working on your picture, take an opportunity to look at it from a distance because especially when you're working with oil pastels and chalk, it'll look really messy up close. But then when you look from a distance, it'll look really, really cool. You almost want it to have a really rough and messy look. So every once in a while, have your friend hold it up and look at it with a little space between you. And you may be like, oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Up close, terrible, far away, brilliant. So try that as you guys are working you might find that you enjoy it a little bit more. Here's a few more examples of eyes. Keep in mind you guys can be as creative as you want, lots of different colors. We're gonna be working on black paper. If you need a new one, go for it. We're gonna work on the eye, and then if you finish the background, we're gonna, the first base of the background is just gonna be coloring it one flat color and then working in different shadows and highlights. And we'll be working on that on Monday. So good luck with your dragon eyes.